Hey, how's it going YouTube? Stygian here. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing and showing y'all how to unlock the entirety of the Nemesis exotic sniper that is in the Division 2. It's basically going to be a full run through of obtaining each and every single exotic component as well as even the exotic blueprint from, you know, certain strongholds, uh, certain missions, and things like that. Hope y'all enjoy. If this guide does help y'all in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Division 2 content. In order to obtain the first exotic sniper rifle part, you will need to complete Tidal Basin for the second time. Now, at a point in the stronghold, your objective will be to take out one turret. After you take the turret out, a door will open to your right. You're going to enter the room, go up the stairs, and there will be a key card laying on the bunk bed that you will need to pick up. Once you've collected the key card, you will then want to proceed through the stronghold until you get to the hovercraft section of the stronghold. Once you get to the hovercraft section of the stronghold, you will want to clear out the first room, and then immediately in the first room, there's going to be a little back door that has a keypad next to it. You're going to want to enter, you're going to want to basically interact with the keypad, and you're going to loot a weapons case. The weapons case is going to contain a sniper. Now, once you loot the sniper, the, your next step is you're going to want to deconstruct the sniper so you can get the first exotic sniper rifle part. To get the first exotic sniper rifle part, you're going to want to go ahead and complete the Capitol Hill stronghold on Invaded and kill the last boss known as Prime in order to get him to drop the first part of the component for the exotic sniper. So in order to obtain the rest of the exotic sniper parts, you're going to need to do complete three objectives. You need to go ahead and complete every single weekly Invaded stronghold. So it's a three week uh, process, one week being completing Capitol Hill. Another week being Roosevelt Stronghold and the last week being District Union Arena. Once you are once you complete all three of these arenas, the final boss at the end is going to drop one component each week in order for you to craft the exotic sniper. Now, in some of the upcoming gameplay that I have provided, I basically show me getting the last final component that I needed, which from which was from the District Union Arena, which was so far this week. And basically, like I said, I just killed the final boss and I was able to obtain the last component that I needed to go ahead and craft the exotic sniper known as Nemesis. Now to get the final piece, which is the blueprint for the exotic sniper, immediately after you complete the District Union Arena, you're going to want to go to the Grand Washington Hotel change it to an invaded mission and do it on... I, so I did this on challenging. I'm not sure what else it can drop from but i would just assume just you know just to be safe do it on challenging and basically as soon as you get in the district or as soon as you get in the grand washington hotel you're going to go ahead and bypass the first area and even the second area and then once you get into this third area you're going to have an objective which is to basically kill one of the first bosses in the mission there's multiple bosses in the mission now the way I got my blueprint to drop was immediately off the first boss that you are able to kill. I am not so sure on, you know, if it's just a random drop chance in the mission for each boss to possibly drop the blueprint, but on challenging, on my first clear, I killed the first boss and I, it immediately dropped for me, so I was able to leave instantly and go be able to craft the said weapon. After you're able to collect all the components and even the final blueprint from the last mission, which is Grand Washington Hotel, you're finally able to craft this thing. Uh, it does kind of suck that this weapon was time-gated, in a sense, and uh, we weren't able to get it immediately. But uh, we have it now, and it seems like a very beast. Honestly, it seems like a very beastly weapon. Uh, the amount of headshot damage you can get is crazy. Also, while you have a... Even at the holstered perk gives you 25% headshot damage while you're aiming down sights with your current weapon that you have equipped, which is also nuts. Plus, it can do it does more damage than the signature 50 caliber sniper in this game, which just blows my mind because we basically have as much ammo as we can get for it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this full guide on the Nemesis Exotic Sniper. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more future Division 2 content. Also, I want to kind of gather y'all's thoughts. You know, what are some of y'all's uh, thoughts?
thoughts on the most recent, you know, state of the game where they talk about them delaying the raid, you know, they're delaying this patch that's supposed to be really big with a lot of gear talent changes and as well as uh, recalibration changes. Uh, I'm honestly not a big fan of it. I was looking really forward to the raid in the Division 2 and uh, it does suck that we have to wait another month, but uh, we'll get it eventually along with this next update. Anyways, guys, it's going to be it for the video. I hope you all take care and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.